Grizzlies will tip off their 2020 preseason tomorrow night when they host the OKC Thunder at the AT&T Center without fans, but on TV. And we'll get to see the development of the Spurs' new high-octane offense that we've got a glimpse of in the NBA bubble in Orlando. Spurs' second-round pick, Trey Jones, played for Coach K at Duke, and now... Greg Popovich for the Spurs, and with at least four players recovering from surgery or injuries, Jones may get thrown into the fire on Saturday. I'm extremely excited for sure. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure uh, I'm ready when my name is called. And um, obviously, um, I want those guys um, that, are, that are a little banged up right now to get back healthy so uh, we can have a full, full healthy roster and uh, continue to, to battle out with the other teams. But until then, I mean, I'm going to continue to um, work as hard as I can, make sure that, you know, I'm just ready um, to, to help this team in any way possible to try to get as many wins as we can. The NBA and the NBA Players Association released the latest results of COVID testing where eight players have tested positive. Led by junior running back Darion Murphy, the Floresville Tigers will play Mercedes in the Class 5A Division II by District Playoffs tonight. In eight games this season, Murphy rushed for 1,418 yards and 19 touchdowns. Now, he says he feels blessed to be playing football again because on July 9th, 2019, he was in a car wreck with his mother. Both are good to go, but the accident cost him his sophomore season. I was a passenger in an 18-wheeler uh, rear and me and my mom. This is what that 18-wheeler did to the truck Darion Murphy and his mother were driving that day. Darion suffered a minor back injury, and doctors told him to sit out his sophomore season just to be safe. You know, I was honestly devastated about it. It hit me, like, instantly because as soon as the doctors told me, it just crushed me. Murphy is team first, and that's what bugged him the most about not playing. He couldn't help his Tiger teammates on the field. First thing I thought it was like I couldn't help my team and also like the seniors last year they were also close to me so it was I wasn't going to be able to participate with them. On the bright side Murphy got to play with this year's senior class and they're loving it. I'm picking up my blog O-line's picking up their blog. Uh, I'm having a guy over here I look the other way Darion's halfway down the field already just running running. So just, he's an amazing, he's an amazing athlete. So, so much speed, so much strength, so much field awareness, agility. Darion, he's a special athlete. I've grown up playing with him. Uh, he, he's a great athlete. Uh, it makes it easier for us. All we have to do is get a little crease for him and he's, he finds a hole and he takes it off. Darion says he hopes his story about never giving up will inspire other student athletes. Things in life are always gonna be tough. Like nothing's an easy step, so. Even if you get down on yourself, always just continue to pray, praise God, and you'll always have people behind you. So let that motivate you, and you can succeed without just quitting, you know? Never quit. Darion Murphy is a fine young man. I'll tell you what, he's a junior. He's going to be highly recruited. For a junior, that's pretty good advice. Yep. Never quit. Never quit. Keep going. Good for him. All right, Larry, thank you much. Well, SA Live is down at Market Square on this Friday and probably some good eats too. With <laughs> well, David on the David show, you know there's going to be some yeah, good eats David somewhere. David and Jen yeah. can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we might have a little something, something later on in the show, but you got to watch and see what we got. But, well, you know, we're going to explain exactly why we're wearing <laughs> yeah. these comfortable sweaters here in just a little bit. But first, we want to let you guys know today is day seven of the 12 days of Christmas giveaway. you got to watch to find out what day seven's gift is going to be. Plus, if you enter to win, you have a chance of winning all the other prizes so as well. And then right here, we have a cute little demo we're going yes. to show you real quick. A little, a little DIY craft. Stephanie Pena Frost with Princess and the Monkey is here. This is all the rage right now, right? Oh my God. Gnomes, Gnomes are all the rage. You cannot find a gnome anywhere as it is. And so I'm going to show you today how you can jazz up some gnomes, make these cute little ornament, or, gnome ornaments with some leftover things that you have, and just kind of get in that holiday spirit with the gnomes. We love love it. it. That and also we're going to be talking with Hillside Boutique about their holiday brunch and how the little kids can meet Santa. It's going to be so fun. Exciting. Yes. Also, Selena, it's all the rage right now on Netflix. We catch up with Ricardo Tavia, who's from San Antonio, to talk more about his connections and what the legacy means to him. And plus, if you have a person that is difficult to buy a gift for, that's what these are for. We're going to have a <laughs> Christmas list that is the ultimate Christmas list for that tough person to get a gift for. I want this already. Hey, I I'm want these. You. These are really comfortable. All that and more when SA Live continues.
Yeah, the year 2020 <laughs> is the one that nobody saw coming. It started with high hopes and dreams for a new decade, and it quickly headed south. There were huge stories, both good and bad, from flying with the Thunderbirds to snakes slithering in a San Antonio pond. We've got the top 10 most viewed videos right now on KSAT.com. Snakes in the pond thing. Hey, yeah, no. Gross. <laughs> no. A low point as well. Uh, skies will continue to clear out for the rest of the day. Beautiful tomorrow, Sunday. We'll start off cloudy with some light rain again and then clear out in the afternoon. But that's when our winds pick up. We're looking at wind gusts up to 30, 35 miles per hour Sunday evening and Sunday night. We'll also have some colder air arrive by Monday. So be ready to bundle up Monday morning, guys. Good plan. Thank you, Katie. They had candy canes and those fancy cookies. They did? Yeah, you saw you that? See, yeah, on the table. Well, you didn't I didn't that? notice that. Yeah. Saw I that. just saw the gnomes. Yeah. So that means it's going to be a really good show. And SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Have you seen the stories of the mysterious monolith in the Utah desert? Well, one has shown up here in San Antonio. <laughs> the Animal Defense League of Texas was surprised to find one pop up at their Paul Jolly Adoption Center near the zoo downtown. And they encourage people to come by and grab a selfie with the monolith and hopefully take home one of their adoptable dogs before it disappears. But be sure to schedule an appointment. And good afternoon, everybody. I'm David Elder, filling in for Mike Osterhage. And I'm Jen Tobias Strusky in for Fiona. Speaking of things that disappear, those elves, do you have one for Bo, elf on the shelf? I'm terrified of the elves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, it's not my thing. I've never been into really? it. Yeah, I didn't have one growing up. Actually, we okay. tried it one time, and then my parents' dogs, they ate it. So. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Okay, well, we have a whole family. <laughs> we have the elf, and then he had a girlfriend, and then this year he came back with the, with the baby. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're getting serious. So, this is yeah. serious, but though. It's, 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 people get super creative, right? So we want they to do. see those photos. Have you yes. seen anything cool on social? Yeah, you know, what? I love watching like the ways the, the parents set them up, yes. which is really fun, like the ice skating rinks and all that stuff. So if you have a really fun presentation <laughs> of something that you've done with your elf on a shelf, we want to know. So share it at SA Live Case out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we will share it possibly later on in the show. Can't wait to see them. All yes. right, from elves to gnomes. Now you might have seen lots of these gnome decorations out in shops this holiday season. Well, we love staying on top of all the trends. So we asked one of our favorites, local crafters, to make some original creations and she never disappoints. That's right. <laughs> Stephanie Pena Frost, owner of Princess and the Monkey, is here to show you some DIY creations and tell you how you can support her local shop. Thank you so much for Thank being here. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So what are we making today? We are making, believe it or not, gnomes. <laughs> we are decorating these are. cute little guys. <laughs> um, I wanted to make it easy. Instead of showing y'all how to build it from scratch, which is very labor intensive, I decided I'm going to show you how to jazz up a gnome that maybe you already have that you've already bought. Good idea. And make him yeah. pers personalize <laughs> him. Yes. I just love that gnomes are they're they're the hot thing, right? Yes. People love gnomes. Yes. So I make they're them cute. all year round. <laughs> I don't just make them for Christmas. I have them for every single season. I just love them. Perfect. So, but Christmas is the most fun. And all right. What are some of the most popular ways to jazz up a gnome? So these these plain and simple ones. What you want to do is you always want to put that fuzzy fur around the cap. I mean, because Santa always has that big fur cap. That's yeah. True. And then from there, you want to put you know some little something green, a little green touch on it, something sparkly, a ribbon, to kind of. Give it more of that attitude. Bring it, it to their, life, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's their flair. Now, so, um, where are you getting these gnomes at to jazz up? You're saying they're already made, right? So yes, these are already made. So um, I was at Joanne's uh, just oh. last week, and they have a bunch of them, and they're on sale. They're fifty percent off. What? You can get. I know. That's it's, a deal. It's a deal. So you can you can buy them already pre-made. These two definitely came from there. Um, Hobby Lobby has them as well. Michaels will have them as well, and they're not decorated. They just come already made. <laughs> So I love this idea though because it makes it easy and the kids will still have fun with this. If you give them a little station, oh, yes, they yes. can go to and town. And they can make it personable. They can make it their own. Um, so yeah, so I have, all, so that's been my biggest seller at all the markets that I'm doing, everywhere that I'm at. The gnomes are where, flying off. So, Speaking of, yes. the, where can people find you at these so, markets? So this weekend, uh, starting today, well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm at the Bernie uh, the, the Hill Country Christmas Light Festival, Ooh. and then I'm at SoFlo on Saturday here in town. 
Awesome. So I'm at a couple of different places. I'm all, I am all over. Oh. Um, I've had a lot of custom orders for <laughs> ornaments know, and for paintings and different <laughs> kind of fun stuff like that. So Now, it, when you're making this at home, I know we're using a hot glue gun, yes. right? Is that the only tool that you really need? That's the only tool you need. Well, scissors, of okay. course, scissors. wire cutters. But a hot glue gun will definitely do it. So you are good to go there. Now, is there is there a right way of decorating a gnome or is it just kind of go for it? Go for it. Okay. There's, <laughs> there's I don't know, never there's like, a right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I like all, these two because yes. I mean, we're having fun. I know, these were cute. But these Those are, are perfect. Yeah. I know, oh, I didn't finish that one, but for the tree and then save them. Yes. Put them out every year. You yes. can even wear it on your ears. Oh my gosh, earrings. I drunk my nose. Another trend. I like what you were saying earlier, Dan. Yes, I was like, you know, Elf on a Shelf, it's not my bag, but maybe a gnome in your home. There you uh, go. There you go. There you go. go. I like that. You can have that. dueling gnomes. Yes, and, and then you can have gnomes, gnomes and elves can battle. It's like your own version of Lord of the Rings for the holidays, <laughs> right there in your own home. All right, but thank you, you so have, much. Thank yes. You. Yeah, yeah. And then now these right here are like yes. different ways to kind of fancy up hot chocolate, right? Yes, they're great for like teacher gifts, neighbor gifts, kids gifts. Just kind of throw some hot chocolate in, put it in one of the gnomes on top, you're good to go. Love it. Well, thank All you right. so much for being here. And to get more information on Stephanie Benya Frost and her Princess and the Monkey shop, go to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Well, it's been one week since the Selena series premiered on Netflix, and many people have spent the last several days binge watching it. Yes. And you know, a lot of people have enjoyed it. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of really cool things. I mean, Selene is so big. It's it's a deeper look into the family and their perspective of her. But mind you, 190 countries. It's been number one. No. Is that right? No, no. I've I've yet I've yet to watch it. I'm actually probably going to watch it this coming week with my daughter. I grew up around it, so it's like I you know you you grow up around it like ah, I don't need to see that movie. I know it. You know I know yes. that story already. Yes. I've, I've yes. I know I've, I've lived it. You know it's been a part of my life, an aspect of my life. And then when I started going down the road of auditioning for this and knowing that I was getting close and possibly going to um, going to play the role, I was like, you know, I, I don't want to I don't want to do that to myself. I think that that would be doing myself a disservice. Um, I don't want I don't want that to inform any decisions that I'm going to make as an actor on how I'm going to approach this role. And I also knew that. Abraham is a, a Mexican American man, father of a certain age and a certain generation uh, that is exactly my father and exactly many of my tios, you know? One thing he can relate to with the Quintanilla family, growing up Mexican American, yet knowing little Spanish. And you get it from both sides. Like, you know, you know, the white side, it's like, you know, you're 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 too ethnic, and then the Mexican side, you're not you're not Mexican enough. You know, so and those are things that, that I've had to deal with my whole life as well. Yeah, yes. and it's like you know, at at our core, we are Mexican. We're Mexican American. Yes. So yeah, I, and and I'm assuming that that helped you with the understanding for this role here with Abraham and the family, and seeing Selena say, "Well, Dad, I don't know Spanish," and and um and that really connected with me. So I would imagine that connected with you too. The, the same thing. The same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. much so. A lot of the filming that we did went with the younger versions of the children. You know, those those scenes and those weeks of shooting were some of my absolute favorite weeks of shooting because um, we really kind of bonded as a family and not to take anything away from Christian or Noemi or or uh, Gabriel, because I love working with all three of them as well. But just the, the bonding that, that Sadie and I um, had with those kids, all of those scenes, all the different stuff, it really kind of gelled us as this ensemble family that, that is representative of the Quintanillas. You started playing the guitar, correct? To, for this role? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's that going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going. <laughs> oh, it is very much a work in progress. I'm so glad that we you get to be part of sharing this to a new generation. One of our viewers wanted me to ask you that. I think it's I think it's great. I mean, you know, my my daughter is 12 years old. You know, and when I, when she was in elementary school, they had to do a project on somebody famous, and she chose Selena, and she wrote a paper, and she dressed up like her as best she could, and and so you know, and she watched the movie, and and now she's you know, I thought we were going to watch the series together, and apparently she's already binge watched it and seen the whole thing. So for many who watched, we are left wondering when is part two coming out. I wouldn't think that it's going to take too long. Um, but I, I can't give you any kind of definitive answer on that. All right, we'll wait, we'll see. We'll which means see. I do, which means I do know I'm just not telling. So. <laughs> I'm like, come on, Ricardo. Okay, we can't get it out of you. 
Nope, he was not going to share that, but he He's knows. Not spilling the beans. I was reading, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe April. That's my guess. Maybe yeah. April around Selena Day. But uh, so, so many things I didn't get to include. He mentioned author Shay Serrano, who's from yeah. San Antonio as well. And he loved his review because he says this is a supplement to the movie. A lot of people are comparing it, right? You can't compare you can't. it. You it's, can't compare it. It's 12 hours, guys. So this is the deeper story, uh, the perspective from the family and what they went through. Um, and shout out to Richard Velas because he let Ricardo use his studio because he was having internet issues. <laughs> uh, but speaking of San Antonio, I didn't get to include some places that he loves to go to. Whataburger, of course, but he shout out to Las Palapas. Really? Yes. Nice. Yes. And so he's always missing that when he's out and about. And I plan to share this entire interview later on SALive.com. It'll be on there later today. So. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Jen. Yeah. All right. Still ahead on SA Live. It is day seven of our 12 days of Christmas giveaway. How you can win today's gift and the six previous gifts. It's our biggest giveaway of the year. But first, it could be one of your last chances to visit with Santa before his big day where you can have brunch with Mr. Claus this weekend. That's next on SA Live. And then coming up tonight, it's the Texas Eats Prime Show. Ooh. Super excited about it. We've done a lot of different restaurants throughout the year, but this one, all new restaurants, plus we have a little bit of extra time on the show, so it's a little bit longer than a normal oh, Texas Eats show. It's tonight, 7 o'clock, right here on KSAT 12. Make sure you tune in. Come hungry, because you're going to... Dinner yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. Come hungry, <laughs> and make sure you got something to snack on, because you're going to want to snack while you're watching it. <laughs> hey, it's David Elder, and get ready for a brand new episode of Texas Eats in primetime. We're going to be traveling around Central Texas looking for delicious restaurants just in time for the holidays. Join us December 11th at 7 p.m. right here on KSAT 12, because this is how Texas Eats. Welcome back to SA Live. We're lucky enough to have the big guy in our audience every day. But if you and the kids <laughs> haven't had your visit with Santa yet, which a lot of people haven't, don't let time run out. But that's right, Dana Winkler, with the owner of the Hillside Boutique Hotel in Casterville, is here. You got an exciting event happening. Yes. And it includes something extra special. Yeah. You have a, a brunch with hot right. cocoa, right? Cheers. Cheers from a distance. From a distance. And yes. now, while y'all have your mugs already decorated in your hot cocoa, I'm going to be decorating over here. So y'all yep. do your thing. Okay, though. so we're going to make some from <laughs> scratch. We're going to make real hot cocoa, the All real right. stuff. So what I need you to do first, Jen, is I need you to put in the cocoa. We're going to put okay. in a quarter cup. Woo! <laughs> wow, it's getting exciting. Okay, Let's hold David, it down. Let's David, it down. you should have done this part, David. I'm good. Our foodie. I'll just okay. stand over here more okay. if you need me. Okay. Add right. the sugar. Okay. I'd be, yeah, there you go. Okay, a half a cup of sugar. Coming along. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Third cup of you hot do. water. There you yeah, go. thank now you, pour David. It in. Now I'm pour so it in. Scared. Okay. This is exciting. Okay. All right. And now whisk and whisk. Whisk, whisk, whisk. We are trying to keep this. We're gonna let everybody. it boil. <laughs> We're gonna let it boil, but get nice and hot. Okay. There you go. Thank For you, two David. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you'll put in. We're gonna take oh. it off the heat. Okay. There you go. Yeah, so a quick off little tip. If a, pot, if a potter pan you have is getting really, really hot like that, and you've noticed it, if you take it off the heat before you add your liquids in there, especially if they're just room temperature a little bit colder, it'll really help because you're going to have some of those pops and cracks in the pan. Okay. You don't know. Sure. You can get sizzling. Put it back or... Yeah, okay, yeah we I'm can just... put it back now. Okay. There you go. There we oh. go. All right, so well, that's cooking up. And then add up. your vanilla. Okay. So you have vanilla, you got a little bit of, a little bit of milk yeah. in there. This is homemade. And then when you're done like this, put it in the crock pot and then the kids can help themselves all day long. There you go. And they need like a special treat even after school today. My kids are going to have a hot cocoa bar and love that. Christmas day, just keep it going. Super have cute. nice treats yes. for the kids. I know I'm decorating this one out here. Now, this brunch is super yeah. special because like we said, the big guy's going to be there. Right. And, and he so wants, talk to us about that. He wants to hear what the kids want for Christmas. And he's going to have an accordion player. He'll come to each of the, um, the tables and ask them exactly what they want for Christmas. Uh, socially distant photo ops at the table. And we're going to have a great time. It's That's this so Sunday. Fun. This Sunday from if, 11 to 1. Yeah, and if we were just talking about it, if you've never been to Castroville, Super it is cute. such a cute little town. Mm. Right. And there's so many fun things to do when you're out there. This is definitely the thing to do for the holiday season. Absolutely. And it's on the edge of San Antonio. And, you know, make it a weekend and come visit us year round. We have 38 rooms that are just so beautifully done. Um, everything handpicked. <laughs> 
And the view, um, by the way, the view we, we is went there panoramic. for Mother's Day. Yeah. Um, remember that? My yes. cat myself got to go out there. <laughs> a beautiful view. Uh, there's a spa. You have your own candles that right. you do now. So Yeah, we make our it's, own candles. You, it's a boutique hotel for a reason. You guys got all the little things you want. You <laughs> and gotta, come get yeah. married and have a family reunion and have the re go to the restaurant, come to the spa, get a facial from me and my, my wonderful teammates. I'm going to pour in. So Jen's chocolate okay. is, is finishing up over there. This one is already finished. I, I've been decorating my cup over here. <laughs> now, how long is the event going on and when can people go out there to, to visit Santa? It is all day. It's on Sunday. So he will be there this Sunday from 11 to 1. You should call now um, and or get on the website make and make a reservation okay. because everyone's dying to, to talk to Santa and tell him exactly what they want for Christmas. Exactly. There you go. Right? Make, make some time. It's getting your little trip time. and right. have fun. I uh, love this time of the year. For more information on Hillside Boutique Hotel, just head to salive.com and click the As Seen on SALive. Dad, that looks really good. <laughs> that looks good, Is right? Good? I'm excited. There we go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 There we go. Still ahead on SA Live. We don't want you wondering what to get your loved ones this year, so we've got a list of fun products for everyone in the family. And we are one week away from our SA Live holiday Christmas primetime show. We'll show you three places where you can have holiday fun with the entire family, an incredible story behind one of San Antonio's most popular tamale shops, and plenty more. You don't want to miss it. Friday, December 18th, 7 p.m., right here on KSAT 12. As they live, we'll be back and we're going to drink our cocoa. <laughs> Have you taken the Flexiderm 10 minute challenge? It might be something fun to do for summer and it will make you look younger. Check out these reactions. This is the first time these people looked in the mirror after they took the challenge. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, is that really me? <laughs> <laughs> it's a facelift in a jar. Lifestyle expert Tia Leslie joins me today to show us how we can take the challenge at home and get rid of those under eye bags and wrinkles. Hey there, Tia. Hey, Fiona. What is the 10 minute challenge? Yes, yeah, so great question. So we put a nationwide challenge together for those people that are skeptical as to whether Plexiderm really visibly does get rid of under eye bags and lines within 10 minutes. The results, people were astounded, Fiona. People couldn't believe that this little serum packs such a powerful punch in one application. It's called Plexiderm, amazing. And you have video of one woman, Georgine, and it's sped up yes. so you can see the changes, right? So tell us what we're seeing. Yes, exactly. So this is Georgine. So this is a funny story. She actually came into the studio pretty skeptical. So she sat down, obviously she's a lovely lady, but she's got some lines around her eyes, on her cheek, around her mouth. And all we've done, we've just dabbed a little of the Plexiderm Serum on. A little goes a long way. You really only need about a half a pea size. We left her for about 10 minutes. We came back, she was looking in the mirror. She couldn't believe it. She was astounded. She looked younger. She looked more refreshed. She really came in skeptical and she left a believer in Plexiderm by the time she left. So this takes 10 minutes and bonus, you can do it at home. So no doctor's visits, right? And what we want to say is Plexiderm is actually a cosmetic solution. That's an alternative to an injectable. It's fast, it's easy. And what I really love about it, Fiona, is that you can do this all from the comfort of your own home. And this is the technology behind it. I love that they've married natural products with the really cutting edge technology in today's skincare. So they've taken shale rock and what they've done is they've extracted the nutrients from it, which are called silicates, which is a mineral. They've infused that into the Plexiderm serum. And so then what this does is when you apply it to clean dry skin, it actually pulls up those crevices, if you will, and tightens simultaneously to really give you that beautiful smooth appearance. It's chock full of peptides and collagen, really nourishing for your skin at the same time. If you want to put makeup on over it, you certainly can, but you're going to be using less makeup because the serum is actually really going to be doing the heavy lifting for you. So you're saving time and money, and that's a win-win in my book for sure. And I see both men and women are using it. Is it the same formula for both? Same formula. So if you're waking up to a busy executive in the morning and he's got some bags going on, 
underneath that eye, he can use it as well. Obviously, men don't use usually typically wear makeup. So this goes on clear. And again, all you really need is about a half a pea size. So maybe you've got a gentleman in your life that needs Flexiderm. And obviously it works for women as well. So both men and women works beautifully for both. Have any studies been done on Flexiderm? Uh, they did two studies last year. They really wanted to study the effectiveness of Flexiderm. And the numbers that came back, really pretty amazing. So on average, they found about about an 80% reduction around lines around the eyes and on those under eye bags, about an 85% reduction on the really troublesome forehead lines that get really deep and about a 74% reduction around lines around your mouth. And the other study, we really wanted to see how long does it last? It lasts for 10 hours. So as long as you don't jump in a pool midday, you're fine. Thank you so much for your time. You can take Thank the you. Plexiderm 10 minute challenge at home today. They have a special right now, a Plexiderm trial pack for just $14.95 plus free shipping. Just call 800-706-3765 or visit plexidermtrial.com. Next on SA Live, it's the moment you've been waiting for. The prize for day seven of our 12 days of Christmas giveaway. How you can enter to win not just today's prize, get this, but all the prizes before. Stay tuned. It's day seven of our 12 days of Christmas giveaways. That's right, and today's winner will take home today's prize plus the prizes from all the other days before, which is huge. That's huge. Okay, including <laughs> a gift pack from Smokey Mo's Barbecue with four gift cards for $50 each, a meat thermometer, and more. A 2021 season pass to Six Flags Fiesta Texas with a souvenir cup for free refills and other goodies. And a Texas Ranger Whiskey gift package from Rebecca Creek Distillery with a $250 gift certificate for a private seminar, tasting, and two cocktails for 10 guests. A one-night stay for four at the Kalahari Resorts and Conventions in Round Rock with admission to Tom Fullery's indoor game. And you're also going to win a $165 gift card to Alvi's Vitae Italian Kitchen, a $150 Visa gift card and swag bag from AFFCU, and the Day 7 prize. Drum roll. There it is. Look at it. The AT&T Center Holiday Experience. The winner will get two Santa Express passes with a happy holiday photo op and one custom painted fiberglass holiday package. All right, I'm a little lost here, dude. <laughs> Sorry. It's a lot of things. Okay, it's a okay. lot. Okay, here we go. Enter for a chance <laughs> to win right now at ksat.com slash 12 days. We also have a link on the SA Live KSAT Facebook page. Each winner will get that day's prize and the prizes for all the days before. I know, it's a lot, John. I know, it's a lot of prizes. <laughs> and the day 12 winner will get every single Prize. Yes, the grand prize will be announced on the SA Live Christmas and Holiday Primetime Show, December 18th, one week from today at 7 p.m. Good luck. There we go. <laughs> All right, so do you have a family member in your house that's just difficult to get a gift for. I mean, because they're, they're all over the place. I mean, I, I got a couple, everybody knows a few, but don't worry, we got you covered. We have some gifts right here. All right, we're gonna get right into it. First, lots of people will have some time of the holidays off, so it's a perfect time to cuddle up on the couch with a, with a comfy <laughs> companion. The comfy, that's what it's called, the comfy. There you go. Is one part oversized hoodie and one part super plush throw. It's basically a wearable blanket. There's Diana, our yeah. executive producer. She is modeling it how for us. Some, how is it? Thumbs up? Yeah. It looked normal <laughs> on me. It looks big and comfy on her. I so mean, there you go. You can go walk the dog with that. Yes. That's funny. Sorry, David. I didn't catch that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, <laughs> perfect. Prices start at about $30. That's Diana, not bad. Super comfy. That's not bad. All right, next, everyone wishes they had a robot butler to clean the house. If you've seen the yes. Jetsons, if you grew up watching those cartoons, <laughs> yes. you've always wanted one. Well, guess what? Now you can get one. This one's called the Home Robot. It is a floor cleaning, and there's also, get this, a window cleaning model. I'm going to turn it on real quick. All right, here we go. Look how sophisticated this is. There we go. Go like that. Uh-huh. Go clean the floor now. Go do your thing. <laughs> Come on. Technology, am I right? Here we go. <laughs> when you want it to work. When you want it, it to won't. work. It was cleaning stuff earlier. Maybe it ate too much dust. We don't know. You know Is it going? <gasps> oh. oh. It's like, give me some time, David. Okay. It'll well, go eventually. It'll go. It cleans the floor. It's really cool. Now, this is a four-in-one vacuum and mopping robot. The window one, get this, 
It literally attaches to your window and goes to work. And they have a demonstration of it right there on the window. What? Look at that. Get out of town. This, we're in the future here. Look at this. This is amazing. Now, okay. okay, that's just insane. Oh, okay. Look at just going behind here while she's Diana's having a nice Diana's got it working here, our executive producer. <laughs> now, there are multiple models of the floor and window robots, and they start at about $250, which sounds pricey, but once you have one, it pays for itself over time because it's going to clean around. So the home robots were ranked as one of the top smart products of 2020. Look at that go. Okay, I want one. I'm excited. You got me excited, Robert, our producer. All right. Uh, this one is something for the kiddos. A lot of us cooking more, right, in 2020, yes. trying new things. I know my kids definitely enjoyed cooking with us while we were home. So each box here, this is radish. Each box contains kids' size cooking tools, activities, games, recipes, and it has table talk cards that the family can get involved, play some games. Maybe I'll read one of these. Prices range from $20 to $24. Let's see here. That's not bad. Which, which movie character in inspires you, David, and why? Ooh, my gosh. Is that too hard? Uh, that's, no, 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 okay. uh, Buddy the Elf. Aww. Because of the four main food groups, candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. There you go, I love that movie. I love that movie too. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, but these are fun, these are fun. Kids would love this, so Yes, so $20, $24, idea. that's really a good price. All right, love it. there's so, uh, we've all been working from home this year, and you know, we have been too. That's just how it's going on. <laughs> so if you're using your laptop to work from home, get this, this is a really cool way to add a second monitor now there you go that's it in action Ooh, right there okay look at that now it's really simple to install it comes with these four little uh, double-sided 3m stickers that are on there you peel them off you attach it to your laptop and once it's on there you can see right here so you go in the front Ooh. and then boop you Get pull out it out. Here. Look at that. I can't keep up. Oh, it's upside down, but don't worry about technology. that. Technology. I know. Well, this is really cool. So it comes with a really easy app to download as well. And uh, you pop it on, you get it going, and then you have a second monitor. Awesome. I, I mean, the, the way the world is right now, I think a lot of us will probably continue working from home. So <laughs> yeah, what a there great you go. timely gift. All right. Yes. And to get more information on all these cool gifts, I think the little robot's still cleaning Where around here somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next on SA Live. Holidays and hoops. San Antonio loves their basketball, and if your kids do too, we have an event for the whole family. Don't go anywhere. Well, if you want to bounce into a good time over the holiday season, we've got an event for you. Joining me now is Jermaine Collier with JC Ultimate Training to talk about their Hoop It Up event coming up in a few weeks. Hey there. Hey, hey, how's it going? All right, tell us about yeah, we, this event. Yeah, we have a Hoop It Up. I'm a franchise owner of the world famous Hoop It Up. It's a three on three basketball tournament that go around the world. Well, I'm here to bring it here to San Antonio, Texas. On December 26th, we're going to be at ACA, which is Alamo All-Star Sports Complex out here in Universal City. We will have it for all ages, 10 years up, all the way to adults. We have a program league as well for the more advanced players to get in this $1,000 cash prize for this one. It started about 30 years ago in Dallas, Texas. It revamped a little bit. Kevin Garnett is now the CEO of the whole organization. So I'm here to bring it to San Antonio, Texas. I'm calling out all basketball players in the area and surrounding cities to come out to ACA on December 26th at 9 a.m. First games tips off. All right, so this is of course for kids all the way through adults. What safety precautions will be taken? Well, we sanitizing at the door. We sanitize all the equipment, all the basketballs. Got to get heat temperatures at the door. And at the end of every game, we have to sanitize the bleachers in the whole nine yards. Tell us a little bit about JC Ultimate Training and how it can help student athletes. JC Ultimate Training is a strength and conditioning program here in San Antonio, Texas, located at the Rolling Oaks Mall. Now we work on all level of athleticism, speed, agility, quickness, coordination, also the vertical. Not only do we want to work on the fitness side of athletics, we want to work on the mental as well. So we have a classroom set up there, we work on mental training as well. So it's a full-fledged program for any athlete, any sport, to come get their mind and their body right. All right, now you have some moves that kids can do at home, right, that you're going to talk us through right now. Okay, here's a couple things I want to get out there for the rest of our kids. In our organization, we have the strength and conditioning program at the Rolling Oaks Mall. And one thing about basketball, it's more than dribbling and shooting. You have to be in shape first. 
So here's a couple moves you guys can do at home. Are welcome to come out and get a first session with us. Now these guys are pushing sleds, going and work on their leg, lower body. You want to be fast in a fast break situation. Also, you want to work on that vertical. Here's a sled workout for you guys. Here's another one for those high flyers. We have a Vertimax training right here. These guys are working on their fast twist muscles. The Vertimax works on your explosiveness and also your vertical. Like I said, it's fast twist muscles. You want to be explosive to get those rebounds or possibly throw the ball down. Get a super slam dunk. All right, Jermaine Collier with JC Ultimate Training. Thank you so much for your time. For more information on the event and on JC Ultimate Training, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so much. Next on SA Live, they think schools should feel more like family. How to enroll your kids for this tuition-free school. But right now, KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company shares why moving your furnace into your attic is a smart idea. Hi, I'm Kevin with John Wayne Service Company, and today we're back with the Sean Rima of KTSA Radio, where a few weeks ago we did a whole comfort system makeover. Sean, right. how's everything been? What, before you answer that, why don't we go back inside and take a look at what we did. Okay, so what you can see right here, this is Sean's indoor unit, and basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this indoor unit and relocating everything up into the attic. Uh, one of the main purposes of our air conditioning system is to remove heat and moisture from inside the house, and as you can see right now, we're sitting under one of the biggest heat-producing appliances, the water heater. So Sean, what we're also gonna be doing here is we're gonna be replacing all the duct work up in the attic. This is old, it's original. I can tell by the dust and the dirt on the grills that it's not sealed up properly. So what you're gonna have is a brand new duct system that delivers total comfort through the entire house and it's gonna be sealed up to keep that dust and dirt from entering the house. Better indoor air quality for you. So Sean, what we're also gonna be doing is we're gonna be installing a brand new 16 sear two stage heat pump system. So what you've got here is a 10 year old basic single stage two and a half ton. Your new system is gonna be much, much more quiet. It's gonna be more energy efficient, provide the best comfort inside the house for you. So Sean, one thing we want to do is take down this old wooden staircase and put in a brand new heavy duty staircase for safety because we will be doing maintenance in the future on the system. We want to make sure that everybody that comes up here is going to be safe. That's cool, man. That's very cool. Thank you. So Sean, the system's been in for a few weeks now. Tell me how everything's been for you. You know, it's like a whole new house. I mean, prior, every room was at a different temperature. There's a lot of dust and stuff in the air. We were always coughing. And now every room is cool. We can put it at precisely the temperature we want it, and it's very comfortable. And everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Once again, I'm Kevin with John Wayne Service Company. If there's anything that we can do for you, please give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com. growing network of tuition-free pre-K through 12 public charter schools in the nation with 28 schools in San Antonio. And Idea Public Schools is now accepting applications for the 2021-22 school year. Joining us now is Rolando Posada, Regional Superintendent for Idea Public Schools. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for having, here, having us here today. Of course. Okay, you guys are getting an early start. What's your mission and what makes these schools successful? So first, thank you so much for uh, inviting us today. Uh, our mission is college for all children. Uh, and the secret to our success is that we create an environment of high expectations in which every adult is engaged deeply in the sense of mission. It's a long-term plan for our scholars. We're not just trying to churn kids out to the next level or next grade. We are trying to prepare them with an escalating sense of rigor to be successful in the future. Now you mentioned, of course, preparing them, you know, with that escalated sense. Uh, what's different about ideas, programs and academics? Love that question. So first of all, for 14 years, we have had 100% college acceptance across our network. Now, why does this matter? It matters because over 84% of our students qualify for free or reduced meals. So this goes back to our target audience and our target goal. We set up shop in areas that have been traditionally underserved. Uh, and we say uh, that college is a possibility for all children. So this is actually what separates us apart, what inspires us and what we're committed to uh, um, producing in each community. So what's the deadline to apply and where can parents submit an application? 
February 19th at 11.59 is a deadline as February 20th is our date for lottery. So we encourage you to apply uh, www.ideapublicschools.org. Uh, eventually we'll have our office at 7035 San Pedro Avenue. That's in early January, uh, specifically serving Idea Amber Creek. All right, Rolando Posada, Regional Superintendent for IDEA Public Schools. Thank you so much for your time. IDEA is now accepting applications for the 2021-22 school year. Parents can apply for IDEA Amber Creek and all IDEA San Antonio schools at ideapublicschools.org slash apply. Rolando, once again, thank you so much for your time and stay safe. Yes, ma'am, have a great day. Monday on SA Live, earlier this week you saw Fiona's gift ideas. Now you'll get to see what amazing things Mike has found. It's another round of favorite things. Power drills, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Plus, need something sweet for the holidays? How can you get these tasty, creative cake pops delivered straight to your door? Well, we'll tell you on Monday at 1 p.m. on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Earlier we asked you to show us Aww. pictures of your elf on a shelf. And this is from Christine. I think it's playing Twister. <laughs> That's adorable. With a troll, with a troll. <laughs> uh, another Christine, oh, super cute. Got some cereal there. Frosted Flakes. Oh my gosh. And from Mary, it is a snowman, oh. a Chucky doll, and the elf. It is being turned into marshmallows. Look away, kids! Oh Look away. my goodness, that's good stuff. You have to get real creative with those. That's hey, right. we are super excited about our Christmas special happening this time next week, 7 p.m. All the feels, good stuff, food and crafts and love and music. All right, David, you got something tonight. Yes, and Texas Eats Prime Show is tonight, 7 o'clock, right here on KSAT 12. Make sure you tune in, come hungry, and of course, have a great weekend, everybody.